fans criticize Kamala Harris in solo campaign debut. It is so good to be back home for once, isn't it? Wow. Um, we had we had an amazing crowd here. We have an amazing crowd here. We had hundreds of people outside that couldn't even get in, and I'm just so grateful to Middletown for welcoming me home. It is good to be here. Thank you, guys. God bless you. I was told I was going to get to debate Kamala Harris, and now President Trump's going to get to debate her. I'm kind of pissed off about that, if I'm being honest with you. When I see her give a speech, and she talks about the history of this country, not with appreciation, but with condemnation. And look, of course, every country, just like every family, certainly mine, has its pockmarks, right? Not everything's perfect, it's never gonna be. But you, if you wanna lead this country, you should feel grateful for it. You should feel a sense of gratitude. And I never hear that gratitude come through when I listen to Kamala Harris. The idea of selecting the Democrat Party's nominee because George Soros and Barack Obama and a couple of elite Democrats got in a smoke-filled room and decided to throw Joe Biden overboard, that is not how it works. That is a threat to democracy, not the Republican Party, which is fighting for democracy every single day. The media says, well, you know, J.D. said some critical things about President Trump 10 years ago. And Kamala Harris, of course, called Joe Biden a racist and then ran with him two months later. And I, I, I think, my friends, because I was critical of President Trump in 2016, I realized two things. One, the media lies about this guy nonstop. They really do. It's, it's unreal. He's a good husband. He's a good father, good grandfather. All of his family from Melania on down, they love the guy. And that's why, by the way, we were so scared last Saturday when an assassin almost took him from us to Middletown, and a lot of forgotten communities all across our country, because we really have been forgotten in Middletown, Ohio. They think that we're backwards. They think that we're bad people. They think that we don't know how to do anything, and we do, ladies and gentlemen. This is where things are made. This is the source of America's greatness. But I just want to say, I, I, I promise you this. I will fight every single day to restore an America that works for Americans. Thank you for choosing BGN channel. Stay tuned, like and subscribe.